Hello and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today we are going to be starting a series on propagating succulents. So uh, that is what we're going to be starting with here and I am going to show you right now an important part of the whole process which is taking your cuttings for the succulent that you're going to be propagating. So here I have show you, these are some jade plants that have been grown from cuttings, looking really good here as you can see. You can do them in a single pot, you can do them in uh, the, uh, a, a, a six pack pot as well. These are peat pots, which are a really good thing to use when you are propagating succulents you don't have to use them but they do they are they do breathe really well which is important for succulents not to get too damp as they're as they are um, taking root so that works really well okay uh, but as I said you can do it in other types of containers as well which we'll show you as we move forward with the series now these here I have taken quite a few succulent trimmings here and these were from various plants as you can see and what you want to do is <coughs> you want to take a cutting at near a leaf so I'm going to show you what I'm talking about this has a little bit of something extra on here. Okay, so the reason why you want to take the cutting near the leaf is because at that leaf zone, at, the, at that leaf, it's leaf node, at the leaf node, there is rooting hormone. So you cut it right at the base there of the leaves. Now, you can take off the leaves and generally you want to do that before you, um, before you do any propagating. So we've done that. Now, you can see that the, uh, the uh, stem there is very fresh. So we are not going to plant right now. We, don't, we aren't going to propagate this right now because it is fresh. If we propagated this right now, if we stuck this in a rooting mix, such as a sand and a soil mix like I like to use, or you can, and it also has some pumice in it, what will happen is the soil bacteria will get into the stem there and will break it down and it will rot it. So what you want to do instead is you want to do what is called, let the plant do what is called harden off. So you want the, the rooting, the cutting to harden off. I'm going to show you one that has been hardened off. So see here, you will see the brown at the tip here, and you will see that it looks dried. And you might think, oh no, it's too late. Actually, that's perfect. This is the perfect point that you want the plant to be at before you propagate it, which we'll be doing in further videos. Because this is now calloused over, and that will allow the plant to then take root rather than rot the whole stem. So that's what you want it to look like. This can take up to a week or more to occur and even if it take if, if you have the cutting sitting around longer that's fine too with succulents. It's not the same with other plants. With succulents since they have so much water stored in their leaves you can let the uh, cutting sit around for a while before you then go ahead and propagate it. So here's another one, give you an example. Now here's another cutting. This one we can make into two cuttings. We don't have to have this long top on here. So I will cut, as shown here, at the, at the base of a leaf, and then I'm going to take these off. You have to be careful you don't cut into the stem when you're doing this, which is kind of tough with some of these because it's so close to the stem uh, that the foliage grows. 
So I'm going to leave that there. I could do a teeny bit more, but as mentioned, I want to make sure not as much as possible not to cut into the stem. It, 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 if you do a little bit, it will callus over as I, the other one I showed you did. Okay, now this one, we aren't going to leave that stem here because this stem up here that's not close to leaves does not have any, any uh, leaf nodes in it. And the leaf nodes also serve as root nodes where the, the roots come from. So I'm gonna cut this one off at that point and then I'm going to remove the leaves at that point as well. Carefully as in the other. And then I am going to let this, as I did, harden off. Could be a week, could be, it, it, can, it can be as, as, as little as three days or so, but it depends on your climate. If you have a very moist climate, it may take longer. You live in a dry climate, it could go quicker. Uh, summertime, when it's hot in your, wherever you live, it will also hard callus off, harden off, callus off at that point more quickly. So just give it some time and be patient, otherwise your, your, your uh, propagating of the succulent will not, will not go well. Okay, so that is it for the first stage, which is taking your cuttings and letting them harden off in preparation for propagating your succulents. Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when we release new videos.